Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Crown K. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, my name is Kimberly, but you get the drift. Today, guys, I'll be doing a install for y'all, like a butterfly lock install. Y'all already know I'll be doing it with this crochet st um, styles. So this hair was sent to me by Toyo Tress, and I've worked with them before. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll see that. So they did send me these butterfly locks in a 10 inch. I got it in a one and a one B30. And girl, I could not decide what to do. So I was just there going back and forth as to which one to use and for my hair pattern guys in my previous butterfly lock video I had a similar braiding pattern however instead of using rubber bands I had individual plaits or braids if that's what you want to call them and I plaited each one into the, the other one and then into the other one to form my individuals in the front so it'll give you the illusion that you have an individual um locks when it's actually crochet and then the back would be crochet in so guys um because i use the rubber bands it was so tight it was hard to do i've used a rubber band method like this method before when i did my um passion twist video and i'll put that here as well as i'll also put the butterfly lock video so you could see the other pattern that i use for passion twist this pattern is amazing it'll fit because the passion twist is really thin um well it's thinner and it's more more um it's less bulky but the butterfly locks because it's so chunky girl i was fighting to get it through the loops and it gave me like a whole headache so if you're doing this uh i don't think you should use rubber bands or if you use rubber bands don't do them tight better yet because i don't know why i decided to do them so snug because i wanted it to look so neat the butterfly locks especially this length it's very chunky so also do your individual braids at the front smaller be um bigger sorry not smaller because i did them way too small i underestimated the size of the crochet um locks and what i had to do was instead of like having two i put two in one and i just kind of finessed it so next time if you are doing like this exact pattern do them a little bigger don't put like how i had five different ones you could put like four so it's like more uh it looks bigger and it looks like way more individual like but yeah guys um besides that this pattern works really well and I'm just doing like my whole crochet style and guys you know how to crochet like you've watched my videos if not go back and watch an old video you literally insert the crochet needle open the latch um open the loop put the hair through pull it through and knot it it's so easy like it's literally so easy you guys have seen me do this many times so if you want a more detailed detailed step-by-step -step crochet method go and watch one of the older videos and this is what it's looking like i think it looks so good i'm glad i went with this color versus just black so this is the back and what i did i went in and i put um i put hairs on each braid to the back and what i did i used my finger i put them a finger width apart and i insert the needle instead of inserting it across i insert it down just so the hair will fall and cover the braids and not it, don't do it to the side because the hair will go in and you'll still be seeing the spaces insert the needle downwards pull the hair through open the loop put the hair through and pull it through and just knot it and it's like that easy i promise you crochet is very easy it might look a little intimidating at first but it's so easy girl once you get the hang up just like inserting the needle pull putting the hair in it opening the latch closing it then you just pull the hair through open the latch again take it off and knot it like it's just that simple take the ends and bring it through the loop it's pretty simple i was scared of crochet and now i'm just here doing my thing like i've been doing it forever when i used to be really scared of trying it but that's what all you're gonna do and for the back you just do it um a finger width apart and make sure you get like a mirror and look in the back just to check that you covered everything and yeah i think i used seven packs because each pack I think has maybe like 10 pieces I'm not sure I'll put it in the description box I don't I don't even want to quote it and be wrong but the packet that comes is like one big packet and then it has individual packets inside but I promise once you buy one pack of it you'll have enough to do a whole head and also have leftovers regardless of your head size and yeah this is what I'm doing until I'm finished and it really doesn't take long the installing portion takes me like an hour and a half depending on if i'm like doing other things but because i was recording it takes that long because i have to be trying to like record and show you guys at the same time but the hardest part is getting like the pattern once you get the pattern down it's 
easy like it's so easy and it's literally foolproof it'll look as if you have individuals when it's actually crochet like no one would ever know so you can with this style put your hair up in a ponytail do pigtail pigtails do whatever but because it was short and it's like a bob i didn't really want to do that but if i wanted to i could have easily done that because it does look like individuals and that's like the finished look i think it's so beautiful this 1b30 is a vibe i'm about to like use this color and next time because it looks super pretty it brings out like my eyes and my skin tone or whatever and this is the look like after i did my makeup it's so pretty i feel like i should be on an island somewhere i feel like i should be on vacation like this is vibes sis like let me know your thoughts down below on this hair be sure to check out toyo tres shout outs to them for sending me this hair for y'all and also so guys the links for this hair is in the description box you should definitely like go check them out and grab you some and then just like go practice this you don't need anybody to do this for you you can easily accomplish this like let me know if you like this down in the comments like i love you guys and i'll catch you in my next one bye Mwah.